Hello, here I am in my kitchen and it's the 8th of November 2016 and I'm thinking about recipes to use up the things, the produce from the allotment. We put a lot of energy into growing climbing peas. We grew four kinds. The plants didn't do excellently well because they got mildewy and uh, they were too crowded basically. But this is our sum total of our pea harvest, apart from the few that we ate fresh. And I'm looking for recipes for dried peas and you just don't see them. I read that the medieval monks used peas as a staple. In fact, probably generally the peasants in medieval times used peas a lot. And I gather they just boiled them up and made a pottage with them with whatever vegetables they had to hand, which makes sense. The other kind of vegetable I have, which I want to use, is the squash. So I'm thinking I could roast the squash in like boat shaped pieces like that and stuff it with some kind of pea mush. <laughs> cook the peas, cook them, um, maybe add some spices. Apparently the medieval people used cloves a lot. Well, I suspect cloves were common and other more exotic spices were not, but I'm thinking maybe curried peas. I might try some kind of curry mix to, to stuff the marrow and give a contrasting taste as well as texture. So we'll see how we go. My mother sometimes used to do dried peas. You could get them in a packet with the tablet of, was it soda they put in them to keep the green colour, which now has been discredited because it destroys the nutrients. But they were one kind of pea. They weren't like these. These peas are, I'm boiling them up already. You can't see them. Um, I think they're smaller than the ones you could get in packets and I'm hoping I won't have to soak them too much. Although what I'll do is bring them to the boil and then leave them to soak for a couple of hours in the hot water which should encourage them to swell up before I get around to cooking them. I just chopped a very juicy onion from my festoons. We're storing our onions um, in strings hanging around the doorways because it seems like a good airy place to keep them. There they are. So onions apparently were a good medieval peasant food as well. So I'm frying onions to go in my pea curry and my peas are simmering away. They're eatable now, they're still a bit crunchy so I'm going to cook them a bit longer. The medieval recipe I saw online said boil them till they burst. So. That's an indication they're cooked, I guess. And my squash is going in the oven. There's so many pieces here. I don't know how we'll eat them all. I'm going to have to make more pumpkin pie, obviously. And I'm going to give roast squash seeds another go. Squash slash pumpkin. This time, I'm not going to cook them in syrup, but in oil. And maybe cook them a bit longer. And see if they can come out crispy enough to eat without getting cardboard in the mouth. So I've mixed my peas in with my onion. Sadly, I was on the internet and I forgot the peas and they boiled dry, but I think I just caught them before they started to burn. But there's no liquid with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some tap water and some tomato paste and salt and see what that does for the flavour and there are my squash segments all ready to fill. There it is all mixed in. I know in medieval times they probably didn't have garam masala or tomato paste, but I think tomato gives everything a lot of flavour, so why not? Yeah, very nice. And by the way, here are the pumpkin seeds, stroke squash seeds. They've been well roasted. It looks nice and crisp. They're crunchy. It's 
sorry, still woody. So, a spoon the peas onto the squash bush. Add some broccoli for the greens and there they are. Looks interesting anyway. Oh, the broccoli wasn't from the allotment, but it could have been. 